Hey YouTubers, it's Steve again coming from Rescape, my YouTube channel that seeks to aid and benefit people by helping them be more informed or aware of their fundamental perception of reality, what that is, and, and then by being aware of it, long low, Whee! by being more aware of it, they can, then basically if you're aware of your fundamental perception of reality, if that's even possible, um, then uh, you have the ability then at that point to change it logically in your mind and then pursue that change more like on a heart belief or more on a foundational level of like what you may know to logically be true. The key to changing your fundamental perception reality or, or the reason of doing that is it helps you be a more whole human being. If you don't know what that means, then check out my video on wholeness and then also it gives you greater degrees of freedom and then like the ways you can move and affect the universe around you. It allows you to be things be things you didn't know you could be, do things you wouldn't otherwise know you could do, and then also when large groups of people come together with fundamental perceptions of reality that are actually true or more aligned with what's what's real and what's actually there, then, then how that gives potential for those people to change the world. Today is a continuation of all my other videos, I think for the past five videos, starting with living an effortless life, and then I, my past three have done awareness, and then the last one was desire, and then this one, it's going to be breath. Those are the three I mentioned, I think, on the application of effortlessness. Now, un unlike awareness and desire, which seem like, okay, well, that's pretty necessary for, you know, you know, living, living life. Well, then breath is much more mundane. Like, well, yeah, you, I mean, to do something, you have to be aware of it and want to do it. But then breathing just kind of like, yeah, you kind of have to breathe or you're going to die. So, so it's in a different category, but it's really not. Um, my teacher doesn't really say like profound things ever on its own, but if you ask the right questions, then you'll get some pretty profound answers. And one and not, one day I had the the fortune of asking a right question and getting this piece of information that in his over 40 or almost about 40 years of doing what I've been doing to be able to do these amazing things, I've been doing it for three years, he's done it for 40 years and he says he has not for certain come across anything besides breath that it can be foundationally mind body and spirit all as one so everything is either mind body or spirit individually some are overlapping and then but with breath you have the spirit and the mind and and the phys physicality of breath all coming together and uh, so what you have with breath in that way then is you have some pretty interesting attributes now for scientific materialists, people in the medical field, um, some of the things I'm going to say probably won't register on your radar, something believable, but I'll do it in steps. So just for however many steps you can get in, go for it. Anything I'm saying might seem unusual or uh, crazy. Um, just God bless you. Just get as far as you can. I hope you don't disregard the rest when you hear what I'm doing. But basically, so breath before like science actually figured out like about oxygen being in the blood and blood being everywhere in your body like every cell in your body has to have some sort of contact with red blood as far as, far as i know or like with five minutes of not having that and it's going to die like i don't know that's not true obviously for hair or nails but like for like the living flesh part of the human body there has to be the red blood from hemoglobin and attaching to oxygen cells so basically everything you breathe goes into your red blood cells and then the red blood cells have to touch everything so if you were to say that like the in the bible is written the breath of life well air that you breathe literally gives life to every single thing in your body has to have not you know not contact with air necessarily but but you know one step away air touches blood touches everything so so if you call it like blood being your life you know essence and then air being the you know what gives fuel for that second thing is air is everywhere so which seems like kind of obvious but if you think about the implications of this that there's nowhere you can go where there's not air which is a good you know which is a good, a good thing because if anywhere you go there's not air and then you die so so there's really a connection to the world like you can say with food we're connected to the planet that way or with water you know like there's the you have to you actually have to go to a river but it's still you know, with food you have to work to eat, you know, with water it's just there, you have to go for it, but then air you don't even have to move, like it's just with you everywhere. So, now here's the thing with air being effortless, and the why, and the spiritual part of air, when you say air is spirit, spirit because spirit's always running in the background. Spirit is a process, and it's not necessarily something always consciously aware of, because there's just too much information. 
So when you don't think about breathing and it's just an automatic process, that's your that's the spiritual part of air. The mental part of air is literally when you and again here's here's some strange things, but like you can actually train to like breathe into different parts of your body to give it qualities like like you like I can breathe into my arm and my arm will physically expand by me breathing air into my arm, like my like my forearm. So question is, well, air doesn't get there because it's liquid and flesh. Like there's no actual air bubbles in my arm. So how does that happen? And the large part of that is because I direct it with my mind. So when you, like if I were to push someone or then to p push with my breath, or then you have the mind involved or with the action of the pushing. So whenever you're breathing and whenever you're aware of your breath, wherever that is in your body, which by the way, you can do what's called full body breathing. You can breathe in and out of your bottoms of your feet into the ground. You can move air around you with, with the breathing with your mind, believe it or not. So here's some crazy stuff. But but the idea there is when you're aware of your breath and aware of where it's at and where it's going, then you have the mind involved in that. And so that's how you have when you're breathing, you can and then you can control like, well now I'm gonna hold my breath, you know, so I can dive underwater or now I'm gonna, you know, breathe rapidly, you know, so I can then hold my breath later and things like that. So there's the breath. the the, phys the physicality of the breath is obvious. Simply, you you know you move your diaphragm to breathe. Air has this substance. You can wave your hands in the air, like you just don't care. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but but you know, and you can feel the pressure on your you know on on your fingers when you you know put your hand out of the car window or whatever. So anyway, so how does this all go into effortlessness? The reason that breath is effortless is because the the same spirit that allows you to interact with your environment and be and notice things and be aware of things effortlessly and desire things effortlessly that is the same spirit that that moderates your breath so when you run you don't have to think about breathing more you'll just start breathing more so so that's an effortless thing you just start breathing more you know you don't have to try or um when you're afraid or anxious or you're surprised and you tense up, which takes effort, as I spoke in previous videos, since it takes effort, you'll hold your breath, which takes effort. So what you have here then is a great canary in the cage, knowing that breathing is, is effortless and it takes place on its own, but holding your breath requires effort. Then you know at any point in time, if you're holding your breath, you're either doing it unknowingly with your spirit tension, or if you choose to hold your breath, you're your mind, your mind's clenching. Hold your breath. Again, tension, not necessarily a bad thing. As long as you know that you're doing it and you want to do it and you're aware that, that that's what you're doing at that time, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. But, uh, but yeah, so you can hold your breath that way. So, for example, let's say you're in an office setting and you're really stressed out. You can check your breath. You're like, oh, wow, I'm breathing really shallow now. And here's the catch. So the spirit does this kind of its own thing in the own, on its own in the background, you know, it's processing. But with the mind, it can take control and then be like, well, now I'm going to take deeper breaths. And then and then it sets the process to breathe deeper. And then you no longer have to be aware of the deeper because you just change the process. So that, so when the mind and spirit are linked that way, that's how you can start manifesting things immediately into your life. And by the way, the mind and spirit are always at one. When you're in the present moment, your mind is still. Then the spirit takes control and your mind goes with the spirit. And then... And so this is a way to do that. So you're aware, you're in the present moment being aware that your breath is shallow and then you choose to make it deeper. And then once you're breathing more deeply, then you don't have to focus like, you know, you can take like two or three deep breaths and then starts doing it on its own. And then the spirit takes back over and you can go back to your work. So, and then you re reset the, the effortless process. So, so here, here's the key. When you live a life of effortlessness, it sounds like a daunting task. You're like, it's like, wow, my whole life of being effortless. Like, wow, I don't know if I could do that. The way you live an effortless life, very truly, is that right now you are living an effortless life. If you mess up, well, start over. You know, and the thing is, it as far as I know, at least from my journey, it's it's. I hate saying things are impossible, but it's pretty much impossible to live an effortless life. But what you can do is be aware of when you're a lot when you're causing effort and then make the conscious decision or you know the fun, cho choice of fundamental perception reality on a minor level at this point on, on whether or not you want to change that and what happens over time is you become more and more aware of your of your efforts and tensions and then you can start 
you know, with your mind, changing the process of how you react to certain situations and re, you know, and reprocess. I don't want to say reprogram, but but it's, it is kind of like that. I mean, if you don't, if you have a habit and you want to change it, you have to be aware. You know, you have to be willing to be like, okay, so I'm doing this, and but I don't have to. And then and then say you start taking deep breaths, and then you come back later and you're taking shallow breaths again, or you're holding your breath again. But th at this point, though, you are more easily aware of what you're doing because you're already having, you know, you've already tr pursued, you know, the endeavor of, of changing that process. So th if you like one day just uh, say to yourself, I'm going to be aware when I hold my breath, it's like, you know, you may not be aware every time, but you'll start be uh, becoming aware of it a lot more. And eventually you won't be holding your breath as much because you'll be having taken that process of, you know, reprogramming yourself that way. And the reason I'm mentioning all the, all the, this kind of stuff on this uh, week for breathing is because breathing is is when you talk about present moment if you live a life of effortlessness it has to be effortless now well you're always breathing now and if anything's messing up if you're causing any effort at all and you're not aware of it chances are that it, you're also going to be causing effort on your breath so if you're going to start reprogramming yourself the the quickest way to do that is to start with your breath, which is immediately available and immediately like it's very obvious if you're not breathing and then it's like, okay, so I'm holding my breath and then it's like, why am I holding my breath? And then you can be like, well, I'm holding my breath because my coworker is being a jerk and I really want to punch him in the face, but I really, I, st I also like being employed. So there's a tension there and now I'm holding my breath. So it's like, okay, so now you have to work out why you hate your coworker and maybe take that anger and do something useful with it or something, but, but you know what you need to be working on and you may not know that if, if we lived in a universe where people didn't breathe, you know, everything else the same, we didn't breathe. We wouldn't have this amazing tool that would then, you know, cue us in and to other things we need to work on. This is a process like very few people, if anyone like starts living life effortlessly, but every moment there's an opportunity to, you know, become more and more like, letting go more and more and being relaxed more and more and being soft more and more. And then you, you won't have, you won't be involuntarily causing effort as often. And so breath is a great way to do this. Whole body breathing. If you ever want to look up Tai Chi and start working both whole body breathing, you start breathing with your stomach and then you can do things like breathe into your bone marrow. And like, it's just, it's a huge body of knowledge of how, what you can do with your breath so much more than what we've been led to believe. Um, if you're interested in that, just let me know, put us in the comments. I'll hook you up with the right people. Um, yeah, there's energetic stuff involved. You can use telekinesis, you know, breath can make you take devastating hits. If you know how to breathe well, you can run, you know, you can jog and never get tired. And I'm not saying like you breathe, you know, to never get tired. I'm like literally, if you know how to breathe right, you can breathe normally and jog and never get tired. Um, Anyway, it goes on and on. There's all these, it really, it's, it's truly phenomenal if you check some of the stuff out, but Tai Chi has a lot of this too. So anyway, that's breath. And, uh, and yeah, so if you want to master living an effortless life, uh, I guess you can master breathing effortlessly. So there you go. Uh, my name's Steven. This is Freescape. If you have any questions, post in the comments. I will see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.